Humans have really only had advanced technology to search for aliens since we started putting satellites in the skies. In comparison to the vast age and complexity of our universe, our existence as a human species is like a blink of the eye. Advanced civilizations could be out there in other galaxies trying to communicate. From organisms that seem fit for survival on other planets to the sheer number of exoplanets out there, here are facts that will make you believe in aliens. Hey guys, this is your host, American Eye. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy that video. Number 13. The Vastness of the Universe Our existence on Earth is completely minuscule when you look at how insanely massive our universe is. Planet Earth revolves around the Sun, which is a star. There is over 100 billion solar masses in our galaxy alone, containing anywhere from 200 to 400 billion planets. Is planet Earth so unique that life couldn't exist in our universe, let alone one of these hundreds of billions of planets in our own galaxy? The Hubble telescope has revealed that there is an estimated 200 billion galaxies from what we can see so far. As of right now, we just simply don't possess the technology to make it to Mars, let alone another solar system. And if there isn't life on this galaxy, couldn't there at least be one other planet out there in the final frontier, suitable for extraterrestrial life with actually aliens on it? The simple vastness of our universe would seem to indicate yes, but that's not all. Number 12. Microorganism Survival Despite there being billions of places where aliens could live, we've seen how organisms can seemingly thrive in outer space conditions much better than we once thought. An experiment showed how salmonella can reproduce 200% quicker in outer space. Creatures such as water bears can withstand the conditions of space for 10 days and with no food, and that's without a spacesuit. They can withstand a thousand times more radiation than any other animal out there. Why would an animal that is from Earth need so many unnecessary survival characteristics? It begs the question, could these have been normal adaptations on planets where atmospheres were not quite as friendly as Earth's? Number 11. Water is extraterrestrial This scarce resource that is seemingly necessary for life doesn't just exist on Earth, and many discoveries have been made which indicate that it could be on the moons of Saturn and Jupiter. The surface of the moon of Europa is very icy, and a sheet of ice consumes it with a thickness of 19 to 25 kilometers. Underneath the perpetual shell of ice is a liquid ocean. Despite there not being a possibility of sunlight reaching the ocean, we've seen from other videos how deep-sea creatures can survive at depths of 7.9 kilometers. Impact craters have made parts of the ice much thinner, which may expose it to sunlight. Number 10. Water on Mars These images captured by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter in 2011 are what's known as the Dark Finger. It's also confirmed the existence that liquid water once existed here. The details are quite shocking. NASA admitted that the body of water in this area was actually larger than the Arctic Sea. There might still even be some liquid water out there. This is an artist's portrayal of what Mars might have looked like with a vast body of water. The streaks are made from flowing water, either on the surface or beneath its crust. So it's going to take much more investigation. The next step is to find the source of the water. It truly seems tough to completely ride out the possibility of life here on Mars when we never even stepped foot on this planet. Number 9. Bacteria Fossils this could be the rock that scientists were desperately looking for on Mars, finally. In 1996, a Martian meteorite was found. This was no ordinary meteorite. This might be the holy grail to proving that there was life on Mars. David S. McKay, a leader of NASA's scientists, explained that the meteorite must have hosted Martian bacteria at some time in the distant past. Some of the features that were found featured bacteria that were much smaller than average. Many, of course, were outraged by his claims and his theory was rejected by the scientific community. Number 8. Fast Radio Bursts With the increase in space technology, it seems like we're getting closer and closer to making contact. A mysterious phenomenon was noticed by scientists in 2007, which only lasted a few milliseconds. But somehow, it emitted an immense amount of energy. The Astrophysics Department at Cornell University has even discussed this as a serious possibility of extraterrestrial civilization in the conclusion of their investigation. No one can seem to truly understand the real origin of these bursts, and some think they're trying to do it to communicate with us. What do you believe? Number 7. The Money is Spent While many of us are asking questions if life is out there, people are spending big bucks trying to find out. Whether aliens exist or not, people are willing to go broke to try to find out. Would all their investments really just go to waste? Or do they maybe know something? 
A project known as Breakthrough Listen considers itself to be the largest ever scientific program to find more evidence on the existence of extraterrestrial beings. They believe there's a total of 1 million exoplanets out there that can be scanned in the Milky Way. It's looking to pick up any types of signals such as fast radio bursts, lasers, and other stuff. What's really scary about this project is that Mark Zuckerberg is on it. If we do make contact, please don't let it be with that guy. The project only cost $100 million, which won't hurt him too badly if it doesn't go well. Other board members include Yuri Milner and the legendary Stephen Hawking. Number 6. Government Acknowledgement of UFOs In March of 1949, a U.S. government document was released with the subject of Flying Saucers from Army Sergeant Clifford Stone. He states a few facts about these sightings, claiming that there is very little possibility that they are from weather balloons or anything the U.S. is capable of creating. Many studies from CIA-sponsored researchers took place that began in 1952, and it was known as Project Blue Book. Some of the subjects here that were discussed include investigating UFO cases. A few steps here include examining witnesses, documentation, discouraging false reporting, and gathering physical evidence. On the 14th of October 1952, a memorandum was signed by Ralph L. Clark on the subject of flying saucer problem. A major general of the U.S. Air Force, John Sanford, claimed that most of the objects he came into contact with were either hoaxes or misidentified Allied aircraft. However, a large percent of it from credible sources still remained unexplained. Number 5. Sightings Around the U.S. UFO sightings certainly exist in modern times as well, and between 2001 to 2015, there have been roughly 120,000 recorded UFO sightings in the U.S. During that period of time, California reported the most sightings, with 3,200 total. And come on, if you're an alien with a spaceship, you probably want to check out the Earthlings in their swimsuits as well. The author of the book called UFO Sightings Desk Reference, United States of America 2001-2015, claims that the media rarely wants to report on these kinds of sightings since they worry too much about being ridiculed. Number 4. Number of Exoplanets Proxima Centauri b is the closest known exoplanet and is located in our own galaxy. A team of scientists collaborated and believed that they spotted signs of oxygen, water vapor, and methane. Another exoplanet was discovered, Kepler-22, which is twice the size of Earth, but almost completely covered in water. Scientists don't actually know for sure if it does have liquid, but it seems to be about right since it's in the Goldilocks zone. It's also about 620 light years away. But that's not all the exoplanets out there. Imagine a solar system with a total of seven different Earth-like planets all lined up right next to each other. It is certainly a reality, and in 2017, not just one or two Earth-like planets were discovered, but an astonishing total of seven exoplanets. They all orbit a star named Trappist, about 40 light years away. In case you were wondering, that's about 235 trillion miles away from planet Earth. There are roughly 2,300 exoplanets that we know about at the moment. Number 3. NASA Hackers whether you want to believe this guy is up to you, but it has been confirmed that he did hack NASA's database, so why not listen to what he has to say? Gary McKinnon, who many believe to be the greatest hacker of all time, claims to have uncovered mind-boggling information that NASA has been keeping secret. He claims that the entire NASA program is just a cover-up for a much more advanced space program capable of reaching different planets. He says we now have the technology to take ET home. He also says that flying saucers are very real, and there's two types the ones that we built and the ones that they built. Not only have aliens actually crashed onto Earth, but we've been able to reverse engineer similar technology using anti-gravity as an energy source. Number 2. Advanced Aviation Threat Identification Program If the government really didn't think there was a true threat from outer space, why would the Department of Defense spend $22 million on a secret plan to acquire as much knowledge on the existence of aliens and UFOs as possible? This was partly funded by one of our former Nevada Senators, Harry Reid, and Robert Bigelow. A recent document that has not been classified contains details of roughly 490 pages of UFO sightings for several decades all around the world. A person who worked on the project, Luis Elizondo, claims that there is compelling evidence that we may not be alone. The project began in 2007 and apparently stopped in 2012. But in 2017, videos were released by the State Department, which seems to be pretty clear evidence of a flying saucer spotted by the Navy. The pilot spotted a whole fleet of saucers near San Diego in 2004. Finally, just in 2017, the Gov actually acknowledged the program existed. What other evidence and videos was this powerful program capable of acquiring, and when can we see it? We encourage everyone to dig up a little bit of dirt on this one. And number one, abductions and implants. 
throughout the centuries, we've heard stories about people being abducted by aliens and would never really think it would happen to us. Many credible people have given detailed accounts and many of the accounts have matched with a precise amount of detail even while giving testimonies in separate rooms. People will find a random scar and inside are often implants. A man named Daryl Sims actually collects these alien devices. After analysis have been concluded, they have actually determined that this implant was taken from someone's foot and it was actually comprised of the same materials as meteorites. One of the strangest photos out there from an abduction seems to be from the Falcon Lake incident. He claims to have approached a landed saucer which burned his gloves immediately. He woke up in the hospital with this strange distinct pattern on his abdomen. His memory was a little bit fuzzy, but he did come up with some serious details. This is considered to be Canada's most well-documented UFO case, so take a look at some of these we mentioned today and let us know if you're a believer now.